from a very basic perspective, oats are a precursor of most all livestock diets you find in the United States, particularly at a premium level, whether they be ruminant animals for show or in the horse world, of course, oats are just a predominant uh, staple in all horse diets. That in mind, how much attention do we give to soliciting and finding and procuring the oats that uh, really go to make hallway feed special and to make them the highest quality that they are? That starts with relationships. We've had a relationship with our oat vendor, primary oat vendor for 30 to 40 years at this stage uh, of the game. This is an individual and a company uh, that represents high quality oat growers in Western Canada. As a result, we're able to identify a lot of the fields actually and farms that our oats come off of year after year after year, know who those farmers are and have an idea that they'll always be producing the finest quality crop for us. Logistically, it's important to have a relationship because you got to move oats a long way. Oats come from the western uh, provinces of Canada. They travel very often by train from uh, uh, Alberta, Manitoba, uh, Saskatchewan. They move over to Thunder Bay, Ontario. They've got to get on a barge, come down to Toledo often. Uh, then they're going to be trucked into Lexington or uh, railed into Louisville often, which is a great river port here close to us where we're bringing those oats from. The important thing about relationships too is that you don't have to have questions and discussions with your supplier about the quality of oats that are expected. When you start to look at quality of oats, it's important that you understand USDA standards and see how we do our best to exceed those standards. Uh, oats are 32 pounds per bushel, bushel being the weight that's used in common measurement of oats just like in other grains, corn's 56 pounds, barley 60. Uh, there are different weights per bushel. What we strive for and what's known by our suppliers, we're looking to, to overachieve in terms of test weight of oats somewhere north of 42 pounds per, bush, per bushel. So we're going above and beyond and exceeding uh, the quality of oats in plumpness and size and into sperm and energy content each time that we go to buy an oat. And why is that? Well, because like often manufacturers whom we compete with, we're not satisfied with a secondary or just a oat that's recognized as being high quality enough. We want to have a superior oat, an oat that really becomes to build the foundation uh, with on, in all of our products uh, that is worthy of being fed to the quality of horses that we feed. We bring those oats into our plant. We continue to process them after cleaning. We hold them for a short period of time. We're very much in first in, first out. We're turning our inventory very, very quickly. And one of the beauties about being located in Lexington, Kentucky, beside having an awesome feed manufacturing plant, is being within uh, relation to 75% of our population one, dry, one day's drive away. That means all of these ingredients are quickly available to us. And so we're not having to bring in huge quantities and rail cars full of product that would have to be stored for an extended period of time. I think something else while we're talking about oats that's interesting to know is the quality of oats and the way that they're processed for various products. Whole oats are used and very common in all the textured feeds that you would see us use. We also use a finely ground or pulverized oats in all of our cubed products, which increases the gelatinous uh, availability of starch in the, in the oat. Uh, it's opening more surface area of the oats so that it's more easily digestible and it really provides a great energy resource for horses uh, that are utilizing it, whether they're in a particular stage of reproduction, whether they're growing, uh, however that may happen to be. So oats are an important part of what we do. Relationships are the most important part of sourcing good oats. And then ultimately following through and making sure that those folks who we uh, depend upon respond to us each and every day to deliver the same thing without worry. Rather than focus on worrying about ingredients, we'd rather focus on worrying about you and your horse and that it's performing at the top of its game.